from the beautiful Tyrell Arena in Kenosha, Wisconsin on the campus of Carthage College. It's Lady Reds basketball this afternoon as the Lady Reds will get set to take on the North Central Cardinals in a key CCIW matchup. John Weiser with you. Glad you're along today. Part of our Carthage Insider. We're about a half hour away from tip-off of our first of two games here today on WLIP. The women at five, and then that will be immediately followed Round seven or so by the Redmen taking on North Central to wrap up our Saturday doubleheader here in Kenosha. Well, just a couple of odds and ends involving Carthage Athletics uh, this week. Uh, a couple of items. Uh, today's game, this doubleheader is a special day here for Carthage administration. It will be faculty, staff, family pizza day here today. Uh, there will be a pizza party between games for all faculty and staff members along with their families, and we thank the Faculty Staff Council of Carthage College for putting that together. So we'll have uh, uh, quite a few people here today for our ball game. So we're excited to see perhaps some new faces here uh, watching our game here today uh, in person here at the beautiful Tarbell Arena. So I want to thank our Faculty Staff uh, Council for putting that together and uh, look forward to that between games here, uh, some camaraderie and fellowship involving uh, the Carthage uh, people here at uh, Carthage College. Another item on the uh, docket coming up on Saturday, February the 8th, uh, will be the alumni basketball games. Uh, every year the alumni for the men's program and the women's program put on their uh, uh, respective alumni games. It'll be fun to see all of the familiar faces and uh, those recently graduated and those who have uh, been out for a while coming back to Carthage College and uh, uh, taking part in the alumni basketball games. That'll be coming up on Saturday, February the 8th, uh, just prior to the game against uh, Augustana. So that'll be, uh, mark your calendars if you're alumni out there who've played uh, some basketball here at Carthage in the past or listening into our broadcast here today, make sure you get in touch with uh, uh, the alumni office, let them know you're coming, and uh, let them know you're going to participate in the alumni games coming up on Saturday, February the 8th, just prior to the August Anna matchup. Also, uh, an interesting uh, uh, event that will be held here at uh, the Tarbell Arena on Saturday, January 25th, just a couple of weeks away. Uh, Marlin Sr. has put together a very nice program here. It's called a Meet and Greet for the Boys and Girls Club of Kenosha. And we're looking forward to uh, putting that on here at the uh, Tarbell Arena. What this will involve will be Carthage men's basketball and the Lady Reds basketball programs will host a Meet and Greet on Saturday, January 25th, right here at the Tarbell Arena. The event will run from 2 to about 3.30. Uh, it's an opportunity for the Kenosha area kids to get to know the Carthage Redmen and Lady Reds. And uh, the uh, both the teams will put on uh, some respective clinics for uh, girls basketball as well as boys basketball programs, chance to hang out with the team and uh, watch them go through their drills and uh, work with them on uh, developing some of their basketball skills. So that will be coming up on Saturday, January the 25th, right here at the Tarbell Arena. Carthage will be playing host to Illinois Wesleyan that night, so uh, those who participate uh, from the Boys and Girls Club will get a chance to stick around and take in both the women's and men's doubleheader action here at the Tarbell Arena. So looking forward to that, and uh, we thank uh, uh, the Boys and Girls Club, Marlon Sr., for putting all this together as well, and uh, that'll be an in a great afternoon. I'm looking forward to that. I'll take part in part of that uh, festivities as well and uh, working with the, the youth of Kenosha and I can't think of a better way for community outreach than for both programs, women's and men's, to reach out to the Boys and Girls Club. So that'll be on Saturday, January the 25th. If you remember the Boys and Girls Club, make sure you get to, in, your son or daughter involved with that. If uh, you're looking at a new membership, get involved with the Boys and Girls Club here in Kenosha and uh, get, in, get signed up and uh, be part of the meet and greet here at the Tarbell Arena on January the 25th. Moving on to men's volleyball, the Carthage College men's volleyball and uh, uh, Oneonta College, uh, each uh, with six first place votes, basically sharing a tie for first place in the preseason Continental Volleyball Conference 2014 coaches poll. Stevens University was picked to finish third, Thiel College fourth, uh, Karn University 5th, Eastern Mennonite 6th, Dominican University 7th, Lakeland College 8th, MSOE 9th, uh, and the College of Mount St. Joseph 10th. Uh, Fontbonne University was picked for 11th, and Marymount University picked 12th. And uh, so uh, some good uh, things for L.J. Marks and the 
men's volleyball program as uh, they get set to open up their season on the 25th of uh, the uh, month, just coming up two weeks away. I know they're getting busy, uh, getting ready, I should say, and busy practicing and getting set for what should be an exciting year of men's volleyball here at the Tarbell Arena. They'll tip things off on Saturday the 25th at Quincy and then Sunday the 26th of this month against Lindenwood. And then they'll head out east to Rochester, New York for a uh, Nazareth tournament. They'll take on Medell, Hilbert, Elmira, and Thiel in that uh, tournament in Rochester on February 1st and 2nd. And then they'll take part in the Continental Volleyball Conference East-West crossover matchup in Cincinnati, Ohio, as uh, the big showdown there will be on Saturday, February 8th, when Carthage will take on Uniata and uh, at uh, Cincinnati. That'll be at 12.30 local time. Uh, tip-off for first match. The first home game of the uh, season for men's volleyball will be coming up on Saturday, February 15th. That'll be a 1 o'clock tip against St. Xavier, and that'll be right here at the Tarbell Arena uh, uh, here in Kenosha. Now, after finding themselves a win away from Carthage's first-ever NCAA National Championship in 2012, last season the men's volleyball team finished 24-8. and They missed out on the NCAA tournament. And Carthage was ranked fourth at the time in the American Volleyball Coaches Association NCAA Division III poll. Uh, they lost to uh, uh, Juniata College in the semifinals of the Continental Volleyball Conference Tournament at the Thiel College Big League Gymnasium in Greenville, Pennsylvania. Eagles winning sets over the, uh, won the uh, five-set match over the uh, Redmen. So Carthage opened up tournament play in the first round with a 3-1 win over host Thiel. So uh, it was a kind of a bittersweet year for the Redmen in volleyball. But uh, when you look at the 24, 2014 season, I should say, the Redmen returned 14 of 17 ladder winners and 6 of 7 starters from a 24 and 8 team. So very experienced team for LJ Marks coming back to the floor here at the Tarbell Arena. Leading the returnees are the ABCA All-America uh, Connor Wexter, who uh, finished with just under 12 assists per set, John Storm, at uh, just under four kills per set and a uh, 30, per, uh, almost a 31% attack percentage. And also returning our middle blocker, Jeff Beach, who is a senior out of St. Charles, Illinois. Middle blocker, J.P. Tulaka, out of uh, Downers Grove North. Outside hitter, Jim Schultz, a junior from West Osha. And uh, uh, Mike Jebbins, a senior out of Tinley Park, Orland Hills. And middle blocker, Ryan uh, Pauly, a freshman out of Chicago, Brother Rice, a three-year All-Chicago Catholic League honoree, and opposite hitter Griffin Shields, a freshman from Neuqua Valley. Honorable mention, all Upstate 8 Conference are the leading the newcomers in to the building here for the men's volleyball program. As I said, men's volleyball will open the season on January 25th at Quincy University, and uh, their first home match will be coming up against St. Xavier on February the 15th. So best of luck to LJ Marks as they get set to embark on their season and also don't forget coming up in 2016 Carthage College will play host to the NCAA Division III Men's Volleyball Championships. That'll be the championship tournament. They'll crown a champion right here in the Tarbell Arena in 2016 for that Men's Volleyball Championship. So again exciting times here for the Men's Volleyball Program and uh, LJ Marks has done an outstanding job with that program here and uh, if you ever get a chance on the, the Saturday afternoons that they are here, uh, ch check out the uh, men's volleyball program. Very exciting program and uh, a very strong program and as uh, evidenced by their uh, first place uh, coaches poll finish, a uh, very well respected program in their respective conference. Some other items, uh, little tidbits here and there involving uh, Carthage Athletics. Kind of a light schedule right now with uh, teams being out over break, uh, not much really happening. I know there was a men's and women's swimming meet going on as we speak, just wrapping up prior to our ball games here today. Carthage actually hosting a meet here uh, for both the men and women, a dual meet with Lewis University right here at the Condenser Aquatic Center. That was originally be scheduled at the Lewis Swimming Pool, but uh, that particular facility uh, suffered a uh, uh, burst heating pipe malfunction back in uh, earlier this month, and they have not been able to get that replaced and fill the pool, so uh, the uh, match was moved here, and uh, so that was just wrapping up as we went on the air here at uh, about 4.30 this afternoon. 
Uh, the indoor track uh, doesn't get on track until uh, next weekend. The private college invitational right here at the Tribal Athletic and Recreation Center next week, Friday and Saturday. And uh, that'll be right here at the uh, beautiful Tarbell Arena and the Tarbell Athletic and Recreation Center. So that'll be, again, some great opportunities for you to come on out and check out Carthage Athletics this season. You can follow the Carthage Athletic Program all season long via the web. Just go to carthage.edu, click on the Athletics link page, and that'll take you to all of the varsity sports, get you caught up with all of the teams. Fine articles written there by our great sports information director, Steve Maravich, doing an outstanding job covering all of the varsity sports here and getting uh, player profiles, uh, player bios, uh, game results, game wraps, all of that taking place uh, by our sports information department. So outstanding work by Steve Maravich, uh, the hardest working man here next to, I think, Mike Love here at uh, Carthage College. That'll wrap things up for the Carthage Insider for this Saturday, January the 11th. We'll take a 60-second break. When we come back, pregame show, Carthage Lady Red basketball this afternoon. Lady Reds playing host to the North Central Cardinals. We'll have the pregame for you following the 60 break. You're listening to Carthage Athletics on AM 1050 WLIP. John Weiser back with you at the Tarbell Arena in Kenosha. Lady Reds basketball this afternoon tipping off a doubleheader as the Lady Reds will take on the North Central Cardinals. Lady Reds coming in with a record of 11-2. They are ranked 16th in this week's edition of the uh, D3Hoops.com poll. 2-0 in conference play, and they will take on North Central, a 1-1 team in the conference, 8-5 overall. Well, if you were with us on Wednesday's broadcast, quite an exciting ball game here for the Lady Reds as they finally were able to dispatch North Park 71-58 the final in that one. Carthage opened up a 10-point first half lead at 19-9 and led by as many as 12, but the Vikings closed out the half on a 12-4 run to close to within four at the break 29-25. Pretty much the same story in the second half after Carthage jumped out to a 13-point lead six minutes in. North Park whittled it down to six points, 49-43 with just over 11 minutes remaining. Then a 12-3 Lady Red run finally iced the game with Carthage taking a 17-point lead with just over six and a half minutes to go. But the Vikings again got to within eight on two occasions down the stretch, but the Lady Reds able to close it out at the free throw line and win by 13, 71-58. Another outstanding offensive night for the Lady Reds as they shot 52%. 22 of 42, including 6 of 16 from three-point range, while North Park shot 44%, including 5 of 13 from the arc. Lady Reds out-rebounded the Vikings 32-26. Lady Reds were 21 of 31 from the free-throw line, while North Park just 5 of 9 from the line. Four starters in double figures last time out. Michelle Wenzel, the senior out of Darien, Wisconsin, led the way with 19 points and 7 of 10 field goals, 5 of 8 from the free-throw line. She also had six rebounds. Haley Stursick continues her hot shooting as uh, she, along with Stephanie Kuzmanek and Christy Schmidt, all scored 12 points. Stursick was four of nine from behind the arc. Schmidt on four of six from the field and also had a game-high 10 rebounds as uh, Lady Reds went on to win that ball game, that, their fourth win in a row and their second straight in conference play. And tonight they'll take on a North Central team that comes in with a record of eight and five. And uh, they hung on for a uh, hard fought uh, two point win at home uh, over Milliken, uh, nipping the Milliken 87 85 on Wednesday night. That bumped their mark to eight and five and one and one in league play. And uh, this is a different style of basketball that we're going to see here tonight from North Central. It's the Grinnell Dave Arsenault type system. It's uh, quick substitution patterns, uh, for lack of a better term, like a hockey line change when they make changes in their lineup. They will uh, uh, send five in, five out, uh, just about 30 seconds to a minute at a time, and uh, uh, they just rotate in about 10 to 15 players that uh, will end up getting anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes of floor time. So it's uh, quite a different system, and they uh, uh, will, will force you to do some things. They try and force you to turn the ball over. They will double team every possession. Every time you're handling the basketball, you're going to face a double team. So the key is how do you handle that double team and advancing the ball up the floor. So 
if it's done correctly, hopefully we'll see some Lady Red three-on-one matchups in the uh, offensive end, and that would turn into some layups here tonight. The one thing you don't want to do is get into foul trouble and get this team to the line. That's North Central's M.O. They want to, they'll do everything they can. They'll lean, they'll jump into you, they'll lurch into you, they'll try and do everything they can to draw fouls and get to the free throw line, slow the game down, get the two free throws, and then immediately jump out into their 1-2-2 two, two press and uh, try and trap you up the floor. One more piece of advantage that North Central will have this year is the new 10-second rule in the backcourt, which uh, has helped them out. In games that they've played thus far, they're coming off a game on Wednesday in which both Milliken and North Central combined for 66 turnovers in that contest. So uh, it could be a turnover-filled ball game. It, uh, at times, it's not pretty, but for North Central, it does uh, become effective. So that's uh, one of the things we'll have to keep an eye on here today with that game and as uh, we'll hear from Coach Bernero here in just a moment exactly uh, how they're going to solve this uh, system type game against North Central. So it'll be Carthage and the North Central women to tip things off here and then I'll be followed by Redmond basketball as the Carthage Redmond take on North Central in the nightcap. We'll pause and take a 60 break. When we come back we'll visit with head basketball coach Tim Bernero and get his thoughts on tonight's game. As our pregame show continues live from the Tarbell Arena in Kenosha, you're listening to Carthage Lady Red Basketball on AM 1050 WLIP. John Weiser back with you at the Tarbell Arena tonight. Doubleheader action as the Lady Reds tip things off against North Central. Joined now by head basketball coach for the Lady Reds, Tim Bernero. And uh, let me borrow a phrase from Monty Python. And now for something completely different. That's what we're going to see here tonight. The Grinnell system that is run by North Central. Forget about whatever we know about basketball tonight. It's something totally different. Tim, before we get started, just explain a little bit when we're talking Grinnell system and system style basketball. It was something that was hatched about 20 years ago by the coach at Grinnell. And there's very few people that use it in the country, but it's kind of a, I don't want to say a fad, but it's kind of few people have latched on to it to try to do something different and I'm not it's not really sound basketball in in its uh, truest sense but they play 15 people generally and they play in like a hockey team in shifts of five and they change every 30 40 seconds and they play at a frenetic pace you know in my opinion probably too fast for skill but to some degree but they try to get you out of out of sorts as far as playing fast defensively so you end up fouling them or you know not being able to keep up with them defensively because of the substitutions and then defensively make or miss inbounds out of bounds wherever it is their their intent is to double team the ball as soon as it's in your hands and try to steal it and take great chances to try to steal it and if they don't steal it There'll be times tonight, John, you'll see us by ourselves at the other end making layups or two-on-one or three-on-one, and they're okay with that because they're going to come back and try to rush and throw somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 53 point shots if they can. I was going to say their style of play would be equivalent to trying to get 80 hoists a game, and out of that breakdown, maybe half of them three-point attempts. Right. I mean, I've seen the, their stats this year. They had a game where they took 100 field goal attempts and, you know, 50, 60 threes. And it's just kind of, you know, it, it's, I guess there's some mathematical basis for it, but it's kind of like scribbling backwards on the Goodwill hunting board there. They, you know, I don't think it made any sense to anybody, but maybe one or two people. But, you know, for me as a, as a, to look at it as a, a discipline as a coach, it's, I always go to the fact that coaches are copycats, and if it really worked to the highest level, more people would do it. And there's not a lot of, there's none in Division One, which is the highest level that, that even attempt this. So composure and good play and from the other team usually amounts in a lot of easy points, and then it's a matter of making them make contested shots from way out and if they, you know, and, and keeping them off the free throw line so that they have to be under duress to score more than the 100 points or so they give you. I was gonna say, I, I would guess the key then here tonight, keep them off the free throw line, let them do what they have to do, but don't get caught up in the 
the bump and grind that they're going to create and the mayhem that they're going to create protect the basketball. Right. It's a, you know, to borrow a football phrase, it's, it's ball possession, ball protection, those kind of things. When you get it on the offensive end against the press, it's pr progressing, progressing the ball to the next open person until you get the ball until you get the easiest shot you want, which is sort of what you do anyhow, but this is, they're, they're doing it at a, they're making you do it at a faster decision-making rate. Um, I, do, I don't want us to put, a, put them on the free throw line unnecessarily. And sometimes they get going so fast, you get competitive and you swing it and try to block shots you don't need to block, or you try to reach in at stuff where they're going out of control and there's really not a lot of chance for them to finish that play. So let just step back, let them, throw it up there and get yourself in position to rebound the ball. And that's the other thing, because of where they shoot the ball time-wise and from places on the floor, there's going to be crazy chases for rebounds by both teams. It's just a matter of pursuing the ball, getting it. And sometimes you'll get it and get down the other floor for a layup again. In terms of your team, who does this put more pressure on? Would it be somebody like a, a point guard like Kuzmanic to distribute the basketball, or is it uh, pressure on the the supporting cast to try and be in position to catch these passes and then try not to get caught up in the, you know, uh, like you said, three on one, so you're going to take the layup rather than maybe you're all alone in the backcourt, step back, take a three. You know, it's a it's a process when you set up your press break or even what you do in the half court I wouldn't call what you're doing in the half court half court offense because you won't see normal pattern that you see from us because the idea is to spread them out make them have to run all over the place to get to these traps and then making the proper decisions to the next pass so there's you know there's pressure on the the people inbounding the ball to st the guards to start with and we'll attack it with all with two guards or sometimes three guards up there but like I told the kids this morning, it's a it's a it's a process where all five people have to do their job. They, you know, if you if you got the ball, you progress it until the double team comes. Then you find the open player. If you don't have the ball, you got to find a place where you can receive the ball. And when you do, then you're ready to make your decision. So, you know, I think when it breaks down, it, it if or if it breaks down, it'll be when one or two people kind of stop doing what you know what they're so supposed to. And it's kind of a a flowing game where you have to just move like you know I told use the example like sharks you just got to kind of keep moving until you're in an open spot and when you get it once you get the ball and make make solid passes to your teammate you're now you're once you get to around half court now there's a huge advantage at two on ones three on ones that you, and then sometimes those even get mixed up a little bit if you don't convert those if you don't if you miss layups or you you know end up getting in, you know turnovers down at that end it's still still benefits them, so you got to finish them. Energy level going to be a key here tonight. We found out Wednesday, a couple of girls fighting back a virus. We 100% here tonight? I think so. I think we've kind of worked through that, and it's still, you know, I think it's played itself out a little bit, and I think, you know, we'll have, you know, I'll, I'll adjust this game or adjust to this game a little differently. I don't know that we'll play significantly more people, but we may play a, our normal people in shorter bursts, you know, substitute them a little more quickly than you normally would, but it'll be the same nine probably that you'll see. But I, yeah, I think so, and I think it's just a matter of embracing the the way they play and just handling it. It's not you can't they're not going to stop. I mean, if it's there's two minutes left and we're up 30 points, they're going to still do the same thing. So there's no until no end to it. So you just got to keep progressing make the passes that are available, you know, get the ball to the people that are open and then make the shots that we generally make at a high rate. Good luck tonight. Thanks, John. Head basketball coach Tim Bernero joining us on our pregame. The 16th-ranked Lady Reds getting set to take on North Central. First meeting of the year between these two opponents in the CCIW. We'll pause and take a 60 break. When we come back, we'll give you the starting lineups. We'll have the tip-off of tonight's game live from the Tarbell Arena Right after this on AM 1050 WLIP. And welcome back live to the Tarbell Arena in Kenosha. Good crowd settling in for this one here tonight as the Carthage Lady Reds and North Central Cardinals get set to tip off an old-fashioned doubleheader here at the Tarbell Arena. Lady Reds coming in, ranked 16th in the nation in the D3Hoops.com poll, 11-2, 2-0 in CCIW play. North Central 8-5. They've split their first two games 
in conference play. One final earlier this afternoon in the conference. Elmhurst picked up their first conference win of the year as they knocked off Milliken by a score of 76 to 63. The Blue Jays now nine and five on the year, one and three overall. Milliken falling to 0 and three in conference play and six and eight overall. Devin Vaughn leading the way for the Blue Jays with 11 points and six rebounds. She also had four steals and six assists in that ball game. Brittany Chaplicki leading the Big Blue in with 24 points, six rebounds, two assists, three steals, three blocks on the day for Chaplicki. So that one in the books. Later on, tipping off here at five o'clock, it'll be Augustana at Wheaton, and Illinois Wesleyan will be at North Park. So those are your games that will follow here this afternoon while we uh, bring you this one from the Tarble Arena. Again, a good crowd on hand, uh, faculty, staff, day today and uh, faculty staff their family members treated to a pizza party in the uh, skybox immediately to the south of the Tarble Arena here and uh, they will have that between games here today so some good camaraderie and hopefully some good basketball and a pair of wins tonight for the Lady Reds and Redmond before the evening is over so we get set for this one we'll get set for our national anthem and uh, then it's uh, basketball tonight we'll send it downstairs to the scorers table Adam King is the PA announcer here at Carthage College as we get set for our game here tonight between the Lady Reds and North Central. The NCA, the CCIW, and Carthage thank you for your cooperation. Please direct your attention to the American flag at the north end of the arena. It draped the coffin of Captain Frank Vavrin, a former Carthage student who died in Vietnam in 1970. The flag is a gift to the college from his parents. Captain Vavrin's medals can be viewed in the display cases in the entry hall near the lower south doors of Tarbell Arena. In remembering Captain Vavrin, we pay tribute to all who have sacrificed their lives for our country and honor those who today put themselves in harm's way in service to America. To honor America, please remain standing for the playing of tonight's national anthem. Our Carthage Pep Band celebrating their 140th anniversary as a band performing our Star Spangled Banner. Let's head back down to Adam King for our starting lineups. First four North Central. One and one in an eight and five overall record. And your Carthage College Lady Reds with a record of two and oh conference in the conference and 11 and two overall record. Let's meet the Cardinals. A 5'7 junior guard out of Sterling, Illinois. Number 14, Lauren Hernandez. A 5'6", junior guard out of Loves Park, Illinois, number 20, Bobby Johns. A 5'6", junior guard out of Chicago Heights, Illinois, number 22, Marissa Cladis. A 5'9", senior guard out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, number 24, Marion Beck. And a 5'10", junior forward out of Lena, Illinois, number 30, Lauren Shoemaker. The head coach for the Cardinals is Michelle Roof. Coach Roof is assisted by Doug Porter and Ashley Berggren. Are you ready? Yeah, now 
Now let's get the starting lineup. For your truth, it's Lady Red. That four to five nine senior from Normal Community High School from Bloomington, Illinois. Number 34, Christy Schmidt. That guard, a 5'8 junior from Mundelein Carmel Catholic High School out of Island Lake, Illinois. Number 12, Aaron Quinn. At center, a 6'1 senior from Delvin Darien High School out of Darien, Wisconsin. Number 23, Michelle Wenzel. That guard, a 5'5 senior from Maris High School from Chicago, Illinois. Number 11, Haley Sturson. And at guard, a 5'8 senior from Wheeling High School from Mount Prospect, Illinois. She wears number 24, Stephanie Kuzmanek. The head coach for Carthage is Tim Bernero. He's assisted by Maggie McCloskey and Katie Otto. We're ready for basketball tonight from the Tarble Arena in Kenosha. John Weiser with you, glad you're along. Pull up a chair, let's enjoy Division Three college basketball at its finest here tonight and one of the best venues in all of college basketball at Tarble Arena here at Carthage College. Our officials tonight, the men in stripes, actually men and women in stripes tonight. It'll be uh, Dorian Stewart and uh, Marnie Fox as part of our officiating crew along with uh, Shelly Dietz. Cardinals wearing the red jerseys, the red shorts trimmed out in white and black. Lady Reds the opposite. White jerseys, white shorts trimmed out in red and black. Lady Reds ranked 16th this week in the D3Hoops.com poll. Looking to get to 3-0 on the conference season. Lauren Shoemaker will jump center for the Cardinals going up against Michelle Wenzel for the Lady Reds. And our opening tip brought down by the Cardinals. They'll quickly get it to the wing. Top it back up top to Beck. Working around the perimeter into the corner for the three. That one's taken no good. Shot by Johns. And the rebound pulled in by Wenzel. Got a held ball. It'll be Carthage basketball as Wenzel is tied up by uh, Marissa Cladish. Again, we'll see the 1-2-2 press here. They'll try and trap the ball immediately as it comes in. They'll get it right to Kuzmanic. She'll draw the double team. Gets it to Schmidt. Schmidt looking to advance the ball up the floor, gets it to Quinn. Quinn across the line to Wenzel. Wenzel to the free throw line. In the paint, lost control of the dribble and turns it over. She knew she had some room as she got that pass and she tried to gather it in without looking it all the way in. And that cost her on the turnover. As they get it down low, soft shot off the left block by Shoemaker, no good. Rebound cleared out by the Lady Reds. No score, we've played just about a minute. Schmidt will take it across. Gets it back to Sturzik up top. Around to Kuzmanic. Back to Stursik. Around to Quinn. Quinn driving in left corner. Pull up left baseline jumper off the heel. No good. Rebound tap back out to Kuzmanic. She'll circle back right side. Dumps it down the paint into Wenzel's hands. He'll lay it up and in. Wenzel with the layup off the feed from Kuzmanic. 2 0 Carthage. Now the Cardinals will set it up offensively. And we got a foul on the Lady Reds. Going to go on Aaron Quinn, and then we'll get our line change here. I won't even bother to give you the changes because the starting five out, new five in. So we'll just call it a line change. So Cardinals, five fresh faces in there. They'll dump it in up top. Gets it to Kimberly Wilson. Wilson back over the other way into the hands of Moore. Deja Moore, the leading rebounder. Well, back with... Serzik gets it inside, missing the layup. Ball tapped around. It's loose in the corner. It's picked up by the Cardinals. They get to every loose ball. They will send four, and now we've got to travel. Take away the basket by Anita Sterling that time. Shuffled the feet before she put the ball down. Turns it over to the Lady Reds. Each team with a turn. 2-0 Carthage. We've played a minute and a half. Sturzik will get it across midcourt. Takes the dribble to the center of the floor. Circles back, finds Kuzmanic. Kuzmanic 
Down to the right block to Schmidt. Schmidt turning, going off the glass, too strong. She worked her way down to the low block that time, tried to fight off Sterling, but overlaid. Back the other way come the Cardinals. That's a travel, why wasn't that called? As tripping up that time was Moore, she took two extra steps, no call. Moore with it, gets it right back. Now on the drive, jumps around Stursik, and Stursik commits the foul. This is what they do, that's the system, it's not pretty. They jump into you, they dive into you, they do everything they can to draw a foul, and it's, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. I may sound sour grapes, but uh, I don't like it. Free throw line is Deja Moore, and she'll hit the first of two. And they'll bring four fresh players back on now for North Central. Moore with one more free throw. It's on the way, and that one is good. She'll come out. Bobby Johns will check back in. Again, they'll double team on the inbound. Kuzmanic gets it back to Schmidt, back to Kuzmanic. She'll work it up the floor. She'll get it across midcourt, pulls up the dribble there. Gets it back to Stursik. That was a foul, no call. She was hacked getting that pass. Now back to Kuzmanic to the free throw line. She'll pull up, take the jumper there. That one's no good. Stursik following up the loose ball. Dives loose on the floor, and the uh, Cardinals will come away with it. Getting to that that time was Svensson. Able to dish that one off. Down the floor with it is Cladis. Cladis cut off on the dribble. They work it back up top into the hands of Hernandez. Hernandez back to Cladis. They work it inside, trying to force it that time into Shoemaker, and it's taken away by Schmidt. Gives it off to Quinn, to Kuzmanic, across to Stursik. Back to Schmidt on the right side. Waits for traffic to clear. Gets it back to Quinn. Quinn now down low, right block goes Christy Schmidt. Again overlays. Wenzel there with the rebound. She'll take it back out. Is double team, trying to find some help. Nowhere to go with it. We got a five-second count. She caught that ball off the left block. It got immediately tied up. Nobody was able to help her out that time, and so the held ball, five-second count, turns it back over to North Central. Cardinals will bring it in from the backcourt. Game tied at two. We've played three minutes. And the dribble drive is Deja Moore to the free throw line, kicks it back out, three ball on the way, good. Kim Wilson with the three pointer, the 5'9 sophomore of Springfield, Illinois, gives the Cardinals their first lead at 5 2. Kuzmanic will take it across midcourt, gets it to Stursik. Stursik cross court feed to Quinn on the left wing. Back up top to Kuzmanic. Dumps it down low to Schmidt. Schmidt hammered as she went to the basket low right, she'll get to the free throw line. Uzuri Williams with the foul. 5'10 junior on a champagne commits the foul. That's the first team foul on North Central and that will put Schmidt at the line for a pair. Christy Schmidt, the team's leading scorer, just under 13 points per game. Knocks down the front end. A 67% free throw shooter on the year. Casey Kleiner in now for the Lady Reds, the junior out of South Milwaukee. She'll replace Stursik. Schmidt's second free throw, up and in. We're one point ball game, 5-4. Alexis Hahn will check in for Schmidt. One point North Central lead here, 16-35 to play in the first half. Back down with it, up to the top of the key. Another three pointer on the way by Wilson. That one rattles off, no good. Wenzel with the rebound. She's immediately double teamed. Dribbles out of traffic, gets it off to Kuzmanic. Up the floor to Quinn across midcourt. Left wing it goes to Kleiner. Kleiner on the catch, back to Kuzmanic. Kuzmanic down low, finds Alexis Hahn, lays it up and in right side. Nice look that time. Quinn to Kuzmanic, who fired it down low on the right block. Hahn able to finish. And the Lady Reds reclaim the lead and they get the steal. Kuzmanic intercepts the pass. Down the right corner to the floor, lays it all the way up and in. Kuzmanic with the steal and the bucket. Cardinals will take a timeout for a substitution. That's the other thing they'll do. They'll burn timeouts just to get people into the game. So they take a timeout there in order to bring in five fresh players. 15.50 to go here in the half. 8-5 Lady Reds as it goes down low, dribbling through the paint. Svensson lost it, got it back, turns around off the right block, missing the shot as she was bothered by Wenzel, takes it back out. Now they get it back in the hands on the wing to Cladis. Cladis driving, flopping on the floor, looking for a foul, none given. Cardinals get the rebound as they get it back up top. 
Back to Clatter. she'll fire a wild three, that barely drew iron. Skips right back, then going up, and then embellishing the contact that time was uh, Paula Zarante. And she'll draw the foul and get to the free throw line. Wenzel picks up the foul, her first. Third team foul. At the free throw line is Zarante. And she knocks down the front end. She's played in all 14 games now. This is the second free throw. 8-6, the Lady Reds lead as they break the pressure. Hahn going strong to the basket. Short-armed it. Missed the layup left side. Rebound cleared out of there by Svensson. Down the floor, quickly it goes in the hands of Zarante. Back up top to Cladis. Now in the hands of Zarante again to Johns. Back up top, Sterling. Gets it back in the hands of Cladis. Cladis to Zarante. Eight on the shot clock. Good defense here by the Lady Reds. They force the turnover as the Aaron pass by Sterling looking for Svensson. Rolls out of bounds. Gabby Chapa will check in now for the Lady Reds. So you got Chapa along with uh, Kleiner and Kuzmanic. Wenzel also in there for the Lady Reds. And they get it across. Hahn will handle it. Gets it back to Kuzmanic. Kuzmanic with the dribble. They'll try to fire it inside and an errant pass. Another turnover for the Lady Reds as it was stolen by Beck. Beck will give it off. Hernandez back up top to Zagoda. Zagoda gets it back into the hands of Wilson, working back right side to Beck. And then we got to travel through the paint that time. Zagoda taking the extra step before she got the pass away. It's five turnovers now by North Central, two committed by Carthage. 8 6, Lady Reds lead by two. Now Kleiner gets it across, Chapa. Chapa two on one, elects to go high off the glass, missing, Wenzel with a stick back, goes down. Chapa missing the layup, but Wenzel was right there, gobbled up the offensive board and the stick back, Wenzel with four. 10-6, Lady Reds by four. Wild turnaround shot that time taken by Shoemaker. Rebound pulled away by Chapa. Gets it off to Kleiner, Kleiner off to Kuzmanic on the right wing. Looks inside to Wenzel, left block. She's hammered as she goes to the basket, counted and one. Way to stick with it that time for the senior Wenzel as she was bounced twice before the whistle blew. Still got that shot off, banked it in. And a chance for a three-point play for Michelle Wenzel. Second foul on North Central. Lady Reds have doubled up on the Cardinals and Wenzel to complete the three-point play. Wenzel's free throw is good. Seven first half points for Michelle Wenzel. She will come out. Sophomore Taylor Boardman will check in. Boardman, the 6'1 sophomore out of Lincoln Way North. Seven point Lady Red lead, 13.40 to play first half. Game one of a doubleheader here tonight from the Tarbell Arena. Now Cladis up top, works it off to Grisaldi, Grisaldi back into the corner for a three on the way, no good by Johns. Rebound cleared out by Carthage, up the floor to Chapa. Chapa will settle it down, works it off to Kleiner on the right wing, finds Hahn, right corner jumper on the way, that one's off the heel, no good. Boardman trying to tap it back up, went over the back and commits the foul. First foul on Taylor Boardman. And it's the fourth foul on the Lady Reds here in this first half. Cardinals will bring it up, trailing seven. Gasali lost the basketball, taken away by Chapa. And Chapa dribbled it right out of bounds. Five person substitution here for North Central. As Carthage will go back on defense here. Bring it across is Deja Moore. Moore gives it off on the curl to Beck. Beck top of the circle. Now penetrates, goes hard to the basket. Right hand shot is good. Marion Beck, Beck, the senior out of Milwaukee Lutheran High School with the bucket. Beck's first two points of the night. 13-8, Lady Reds lead here. 
Boardman wide open underneath on the right block. Gets a nice pass from Chapa and lays it up and in. Good read by Chapa that time. Found Boardman all alone underneath for her first two points. Now a wild three jacked up from the top of the circle. That's no good. Boardman able to clear it out for Carthage. Gets it to Chapa up the floor to Kleiner. They got a three on one if they want it. Kleiner will give it off to Han. Han had it poked out of her hand. Had a three on one and give credit to Hernandez that time. Stuck her hand in there. That should be an offensive foul. Ooh, they're going to call a block. Oh, I thought Kleiner got back and got her feet set, but the official trailing the play said no. Was tardy. Kleiner picks up the foul as she tried to take the charge. That's the fifth on the Lady Reds. Lexis Hahn will check out. Christy Schmidt will check in. Aaron Quinn will check in for Kuzmanic. 15-8, Lady Reds by 7. 12-10 to go here in the half. Cardinals will inbound. With it is Grisvaldi. Looks inside. Cooling now, and Cooling traveled with the basketball. Another turnover for North Central, their seventh. And Carthage will get it in quickly. Schmidt up the floor to Quinn. She'll take it across midcourt. Quinn to Chapa. Chapa bounce feed back to Kleiner. Kleiner whips it down low, left side to Schmidt. Schmidt misses, got her own rebound, was knocked around, and was fouled. But Christie's had three looks underneath, and she's missed all three, unfortunately. But this time she drew the foul, and she will go back to the free throw line where she is two for two. Got to convert those when you get the opportunity, and Schmidt missing out on that. Last foul called on Anita Sterling. That is her first. And the third on North Central as Schmidt knocks down the first of two. Haley Stersick back in, replacing Gabby Chapa for Carthage. Second one on the way, good for Schmidt. 17-8, largest lead of the game at nine for the Lady Reds. 11.40 to go here in the first half. They work the ball over to the left wing, Sterling with it. Back up top into the hands of Johns. Bobby Johns will turn and give right back to Anita Sterling. Her three-point shot goes out of bounds off the top of the backboard and out. So five substitutions in now for North Central as Carthage will inbound underneath. Going the full length, get it into Stersick. Back to Quinn, now to Kleiner. Kleiner back to Stersick. Stersick will pop for three and hits. Haley Stersick, the leader in three-point field goal percentage in the NCAA Division III, knocks down her first shot of the night from long distance. Lead out to 12 now at 20-8. 11 minutes to go here in the half. Cladis for three. Deep three. Got it in. Not much more Stursik could do. Stursik was right in her face. As they get it up the floor to Boardman. Boardman underneath low right. Lays it up and in. Taylor Boardman with her second bucket of the game. She's got four. 22-11. Another three ball launch. Top of the circle by Beck. That glances off. Rebound inside. And going up strong with it was Uzuri Williams. The leading rebounder at five and a half per game, and she'll get to the free throw line here for two. Stursick picking up her second. Six team foul on the Lady Reds. And the first free throw by Williams is short. Williams only getting the line 11 times prior to our game here today. 7 of 11, now 7 of 12 with that first miss. Second one on the way, good. One for two that trip. She will exit. Sophia Svensson will come in, a freshman out of Sweden. And Kuzmanic also back in now for the Lady Reds. Schmidt, Kuzmanic, and uh, Wenzel along with uh, Quinn and Casey Kleiner as Wenzel able to lay it up and in on the left side as they break the pressure. 24-12, another wild three thrown up. Another rebound for the Lady Reds and Kuzmanic. Kuzmanic had it, lost it, was tipped away. She was jostled around. Then as she went in to reach for the basketball, got called for the foul. Now, again, you had Kuzmanic get that rebound. She was bounced around on the body a couple of times while she was trying to bring that in. 
No call. Then when she lost it, went back to retrieve it. She commits the foul. First foul on Kuzmanic. That's the 17th foul, so North Central on the line. And then Wenzel fouled in the back that time by Svensson. And so Carthage will keep possession here. They'll go the full length. Svensson picking up the foul, her first. Fourth team foul on the Cardinals. Schmidt will get it into Kleiner. Kleiner up the floor to Quinn. Quinn now will back it off. Looks underneath the Wenzel, dumps it back to Schmidt. Schmidt off the left block and in. Christy Schmidt with six. Her first field goal of the afternoon, and it's 26-12, Lady Reds. Midway through our first half. A ball tipped into the backcourt. Quinn able to knock it away momentarily from Hernandez, who flags it down. Hernandez with it now, circling around left side. Quinn fell down. Wenzel had to step up and help out, but was late. And Lauren Hernandez with an easy baseline jumper that time. Quinn stuck with her up into a point and then lost her footing, and that gave Hernandez the clear path to the basket. 26-14. Now Quinn, a reach foul by Svensson. Or oh, we got a hook here on Zorante. Let's see, either one. Actually, he's going to go on Bobby Johns. Johns, who was defending on the inside on that double team, got called for the bump. Fifth team foul on North Central. Alexis Hahn will check back in for Lady Reds, and Kuzmanic checking back in for Carthage. 26-14, Lady Reds. Kleiner to Kuzmanic, who's immediately double teamed once she gets the ball. They give it off to Wenzel. Now to Kleiner. Kleiner open three, book it. Casey Kleiner, top of the circle, able to knock down the three-pointer. 29-14, three ball back the other way is thrown short. Rebound Alexis Hahn. She'll get it off to Kuzmanic. They've got a four-on-one if they want it. Kuzmanic will hustle it up the floor. Kuzmanic will pull up in the paint, dumps it down low to Wenzel, who lays it up and in. Excellent over-the-top pass by Kuzmanic as she made her way down the lane. 31-14, offensive foul on North Central. As taking the dribble down the floor was Deja Moore, and her offhand able to knock Kleiner to the floor for the offensive foul. Six fouls now on North Central, so both teams in the bonus as Gabby Chapa will check in now for the Lady Reds. Carthage will inbound. Kleiner across to Kuzmanic. Kuzmanic to Chapa. Chapa driving in left side. Goes up with the right hand, lays it off the glass and down. Gabby Chapa with the layup. 33-14. Deja Moore gives it off. They work it right side. Beck to Cladis. Cladis to Moore. Moore caught off out on the arc. Now a deep three, top of the circle goes down. Wow, Marion Beck, her second triple tonight. Make that her first triple, second field goal. And then a pass knocked out of bounds, Carthage throwing it away. Those are the errors you've got to avoid when playing this trapping defense. You've got to avoid your own unforced error, and that was one there where the pass on the inbound went out of bounds. You're just asking for trouble when you do that especially against this North Central team because they can immediately jack a three. Then we got an offensive foul moving screen, I believe on Kim Wilson. Trying to set the screen on the ball that time for Anita Sterling. And that's the first on Wilson. That is the seventh team foul now on North Central. So each team in the bonus the rest of the way out. Just over eight minutes to go here in this first half. Another block and steal that time by Hernandez. They kick it back out, the wild three on the way. That one found home. Kimberly Wilson. Kimberly Wilson able to knock down the triple. And suddenly it's back to 13. Chapa to Hahn. Hahn gets it back to Kuzmanic. Down low right side. Wenzel lays it up and in. Michelle Wenzel with 11. Make it 13 points on the afternoon for Wenzel. 35-20. Carthage in front. Approaching seven and a half minutes to go here in our first half. And the bump on the drive by Alexis Hahn. Foul on Han. that is her first. Eighth team foul, and so we'll have bonus free throws here for North Central. At the line on the one and one is Anita Sterling. Taylor Boardman back in for Wenzel. Schmidt in for Han. 
And bonus free throws here for Anita Sterling. Looking for her first points. We'll have to wait as she missed the free throw. Boardman got the rebound. 35-20, Lady Reds in front, 7.25 to play. Kleiner from outside, right wing arc, good. Triple it for Casey Kleiner on the three-pointer. Lead back out to 18, 38-20. Grzafi with it, gets it back. Three-pointer on the way by Sterling is good. Three-pointer off the right wing for Sterling. Answers the Kleiner three, 38-23. Kuzmanic pulls up in the paint and hits. Kuzmanic with four points on the afternoon. 40-23, bringing it down Zagoda. Gets it back to Sterling. Now works it off on the wing, Zarante. Reversing right side, Zagoda. Now in the hands of Zarate. Zarate blocked by Boardman. She'll pick it up in the corner. Gives it off to Kuzmanic. First block of the game for Taylor Boardman. Back the other way, Kuzmanic will go off the glass too strong. Schmidt going in for the rebound. Lost her footing as she collided with Svensson. We got a timeout taken by North Central. A second substitution timeout taken by Michelle Roof. So they burn two timeouts just to make their subs. Carthage will get Aaron Quinn in and Gabby Chapa in as well. 40-23 Lady Reds, 6.18 to go here first half. So they get it inside, John's denied. Now they kick it back out. Marissa Cladis for three, that halfway down, missed. Rebound, bucket, and the foul by Lauren Shoemaker. Shoemaker, their third leading scorer in the conference at 15 a game, will get to the line to complete the three-point play. Second foul on Boardman. That'll get Wenzel back in there. That is the ninth team foul on, or excuse me, the eighth team foul on the Lady Reds. And completing the three-point play is Shoemaker. 40-26, Carthage by 14. Six minutes to go here, first half in Kenosha. Good crowd on hand for this one. Expecting a little bit more coming in for the men's game. If you're out and about, men's tip it off around 7 o'clock. Hope to see you out here tonight. The pass through the hands of Wenzel, and they turn it over. Each team now with nine turnovers as that pass went through the hands of Wenzel. Again, Cladis for three. That one's an air ball. Picked up by Shoemaker. Missed the layup on the left side. Rebound pulled in by Schmidt. She'll get it off to Kuzmanic. Kuzmanic drives through two players, pulls up in the paint, hangs, and hits. Stephanie, Kuz Stephanie Kuzmanic now is six. 42-26, the lead to 16. They work it off far wing. Ball faking with it as Beck. Beck through the paint, traveled with it. Trying to draw the defense to her and uh, lean in and then drag the pivot foot as she did so. And turning it over on the traveling violation. Tenth turn by the Cardinals here in this first half. 42-26, 5.15 to go. Schmidt in the backcourt in a timeout taken by the Seven, Lady Reds. Lady Reds. Too much dribbling in the backcourt that time by Schmidt. The shot clock was down to 21. Again, you have 10 seconds to get it down the floor, so it'll be a 30-second timeout. Again, if you're out and about, you're a faculty and staff member here at Carthage College. Remember, we've got the pizza party for you over in the Skybox area, in the South Basket area. Uh, that'll be a pizza party between games put on by the Faculty Staff Council. So uh, again, you're out and about, take advantage of that here today. Again, the faculty, staff, and students with their Carthage IDs are admitted free to all varsity contests here at Carthage College. So timeout taken by the Lady Reds here, a 30-second timeout. They'll get things reset here. With 21 on the shot clock as Quinn now brings it up the floor to Kuzmani. Gets it off to Chapa on the right wing. Chapa tried to get it inside to Wenzel, broken up and out of bounds by Deja Moore. Carthage will keep it to the right of their offensive basket. Inbound to Quinn, get it up top to Chapa. Chapa down low, right side Wenzel, backing in on the right block, kicks it back to Chapa. She'll take the jumper there, 
Off the heel, no good. Schmidt had it, lost it out of bounds. It'll be North Central basketball. Returning Casey Kleiner will check Kleiner. back in. Casey so Kleiner will take her place on the floor, replacing Kuzmanic. 4.53 to play in the half. And Lady Reds up 16. Trailed only once in this ball game by one. Asia Moore going hard to the basket, embellishing everything she could Asia off of that Moore, one. Not getting the foul called, but made the basket. Now Quinn through the center circle. Near side it goes to Chapa, back to Quinn. Bounce feed to Kleiner, to Schmidt. Schmidt driving in right block. Backs in, goes up strong, missing, got her own rebound. Second effort off the glass and in. Christy Schmidt, she's missed a bunch here early. She has eight points. She easily could be at the 20-point mark. She missed three field goals earlier that were zero-footers. 44-28, then a steal. Kleiner able to pick the pocket that time of Svensson. Two on one the other way, has Trappa trailing. She'll give it off to Chappa. She'll lay it up and in from the right side. Able to run the floor, and another timeout taken by North Central. Burning a timeout to get five fresh bodies in. They're down to three timeouts remaining. 46-28, largest lead of the game now at 18 for the Lady Reds. Good to see Gabby Chappa get some field goals here. She's had a rough start to this season and uh, midway through the season now and still struggling with her shot. Errant three that time off the left wing by uh, Grizafi. And it's stolen right back though by North Central. Carthage was bringing it up the floor and an errant pass that time. Gives the Cardinals the ball. Marissa Cladis from well behind the arc. My goodness, that was an NBA three. Cladis able to knock it down top of the circle from NBA distance. 46-31. Six on the night for Cladis. Wenzel out to Kleiner for three. That one rattles off no good. Nice hustle by Quinn to get the rebound. Back inside it goes to Wenzel. Wenzel being hammered inside. She was hacked twice. And then it called for the travel. Tell you what, there was a lot of contact when Wenzel got that ball on the left block. She is trying to fight that off and try and get that pass back out. And the official called her for the travel. Easily could have called a foul or two there as she was trying to establish her position on the floor. 46-31. Lady Reds in front here with 3.10 to go. Zagoda back up top. Three ball on the way by Hernandez, no good. And in the ensuing battle for the rebound, we got a foul called underneath. It's going to go on North Central. It's going to go on Missouri Williams. Williams. That is her second. Eighth team foul, so we'll walk it back to my left here for the free throws and the bonus free throws for Michelle Wenzel. Wenzel at 12-8 per game. Among the leaders in the nation in field goal percentage as she drops in the first free throw. Coming into the game, 62% from the floor. And this has been quite a run for this collection of seniors. have been part of this program now for four years. It's Wenzel's free throw, second one, too strong off the heel, and the rebound pulled in by Uzuri Williams. 47-31, Carthage under three minutes to go, first half. On the drive, Hernandez cut off, hands it back to Zagoda. Now up top with it is Sterling. Back in the hands of Hernandez. Hernandez driving, jump stop in the paint, leans in, got the shot away, no good. Rebound Kuzmanic, able to take it away from Williams. Gets it down the floor to Kleiner. Kleiner top of the circle, back to Chapa. To Kleiner, middle of the floor, finds Kuzmanic left wing. Fires it down low, Alexis Hahn on the catch right block, lays it up and in. Nice pair of eyes that time by Kuzmanic. Whipped that pass from left to right at the right block for Hahn. And then a steal by Kuzmanic on the errant pass by Zagoda. Kuzmanic back down again to Hahn, and she'll finish slow ride. Beautiful bounce pass that time by Kuzmanic to Hahn, able to finish on the right block. The lead out to 20. Under two minutes to play, and we got a whistle and a foul, a hold on the drive to the basket that time by Sterling. Hahn with the foul, that'll be her second. Her 
at the free throw line will be Anita Sterling. So Sterling on the line, 65% this season. Missed the first, makes the second. She will come out. Marion Beck, the senior out of Milwaukee Lutheran High School, check back in. 51-32. Lady Reds with the lead. Kleiner down the floor. Gets it to Boardman in the right corner. Boardman waiting for a trailer. Finds Schmidt. Drives hard low. Right missed the shot. That's her fourth miss underneath in this ball game. Carthage getting the looks. Just unable to convert. And then the three back the other way is on the way. No good. Getting her own rebound off the miss though is Beck. Back outside again for three is Johns. Johns missing it. Battle for the rebound. And it goes off of Shoemaker. It'll be Carthage basketball. Both Shoemaker and Boardman battling for that board, and it went off of Shoemaker. 51-32, minute and a half remaining first half. Kleiner down the floor, gets it to Chapa. Chapa on the right wing. Looked inside for Schmidt, but it was stolen right back by Bobby Johns. Johns to Cladis for three. That one is short. Ball tip. Dribbling back out through the lane that time was Beck. Beck with it in the right corner. She wants the three this time. Off the heel, no good. Rebound, Schmidt. Gives it off to Kuzmanic as we go under a minute to play here in this first half. Kuzmanic to Kleiner, back to Chapa. Chapa to board, or Schmidt, I should say, on the right block. Schmidt double team. Gets it back out to Chapa. Chapa cross court feed to Kleiner. Back underneath the boardman, looking for Schmidt low right. Schmidt going up strong, draws the foul. But Schmidt has worked so hard in this ball game underneath, that time hammered by Miranda Rizafi. That's her first, ninth team foul, and Schmidt back on the free throw line for Carthage where she's four for four, but boy, she's missed five easy baskets here. She easily could be seven of seven from the floor. Wenzel will check back in for the Lady Reds, replacing Boardman. Schmidt's second free throw up and in. Schmidt with 10 points. 42 seconds to go in the half. 53-32, Lady Reds in front. Asia Williams with it now. Looking inside, and it's nearly taken away. We got a held ball. Possession arrow back to North Central. 30 on the game clock, 17 on the shot clock here for North Central. Deja Moore that time. That tie it up. She will trigger the inbound right of the basket. Gets it into Hernandez. Works it all the way around the perimeter. Back to Moore. Hands it back off for the three by Wilson. It's on the way. No good. Schmidt with the defensive board. She'll dribble out of trouble. Clears some space. Gives it off to Chapa. They advance it up the floor to Kleiner across midcourt. Kleiner back to Kuzmanic trailing. Inside it goes. Wenzel low left. Lays it up and in. Michelle Wenzel able to lay it up and in. 16 first half points for Wenzel. Deep three at the buzzer will clank off and the Lady Reds will take a 23 point halftime lead here at the Tarbell Arena in Kenosha. 55-32 Carthage. Lady Reds blister the Nets at a 63% pace in this first half led by Michelle Wenzel's 16 points. 55-32 Carthage. We'll pause and take a two-minute break. Back with our halftime programming right after this on AM 1050 WLIP. Fifty-five thirty-two, Lady Reds in front. Lady Reds will be on the road Wednesday at Wheaton and then on the road again next Saturday at Decatur, taking on Milliken. Our next couple of ball games, both of those games on the road. We will not have a broadcast of the road game on Wednesday. We'll be home here with the Redmen hosting Wheaton in the men's contest. We'll have that one for you Wednesday night. 6.40 our broadcast time, 7 o'clock tip. And then next Saturday, a doubleheader from Decatur. 
We'll tip it off at five. Lady Reds in big blue at five, followed by the Redmen in big blue at seven. Right here on AM 1050 WLIP, WLIP.com, and on your WLIP app. Lady Red basketball to start our second half. Aaron Quinn, Stephanie Kuzmanik, Haley Stursick, Christy Schmidt, and Michelle Wenzel on the floor for the Lady Reds. Wenzel with 16 points to lead the way for Carthage. And it was Kimberly Wilson and Marissa Cladis, each with six to lead the way for North Central in the first half. Lady Reds get it in. We're underway second half here at the Tarbell Arena in Kenosha. Kuzmanic with it now between the circles, drifts off right side. Whips it underneath, low left to Wenzel. Wenzel with the easy bucket. Michelle Wenzel with 18 points. She's closing in on a career best. She had 22 a year ago. She's had 20 once already this season, 19 earlier this year. Three ball straight away on the way, taken no good by Marion Beck. The rebound cleared out by Carthage. This time they go down low to Christy Schmidt, lays it up low right side. Schmidt with the easy lay in, 59 32, Carthage. Now they try and go back inside, broken up by Wenzel, taken away by Michelle, gives it off to Kuzmanic. Down the floor to Stursik. Underneath it'll go once again to Christy Schmidt, leans in, goes off the glass, and down. Christy Schmidt lays it up and in, and what do we got? A timeout taken here by North Central. Yep, timeout, North Central. Got a stoppage of play here. I don't, I'm not sure if this will be a substitution timeout. It is. Cardinals, Cardinals will burn another timeout. We're barely a minute into our second half, and the Cardinals down to two timeouts. Carthage having their way. Again, they want to double the ball, and Carthage... Letting the double team come to them. It couldn't have drawn it up any better here to start this second half for the Lady Reds. They got back to basics here and how to break this press. And they've opened up a big lead here as they turn it over once again as out of control on the dribble out of bounds. Deja Moore. 13 turns now by the Cardinals. 61 32. Lady Reds well in front here. Kuzmanic breaks the press. She'll take it all the way. Nice feed to Wenzel, though, right. She'll lay it up and in. Second time this year. Wenzel has hit the 20 point mark. She's got 20 even, and she's made all nine of her field goals. Now, the rebound off the missed shot that time by Wilson. Picked up by Quinn down the floor to Schmidt. Schmidt going up with the layup, missed. Quinn able to get the rebound. She got her feet and her footwork tangled up that time going to the basket. Again, they look down low to Schmidt, and Kuzmanic threw it away. Each team with 13 turns. Carthy, or I should say the Cardinals will bring it in. We played a minute and a half, 63-32, Lady Reds. Again, a wild three on the way. That time it goes down. Miranda Grasavi that time, the freshman out of Batavia with the three-pointer. 63-35. Kuzmanic will dribble through the double team, gets it across to Stursik. Fake the pass, continues the dribble, now finds Quinn right of the free throw line to Schmidt. Trying to get it back down low to Wenzel. Was thrown too hard. Wenzel dumped to the floor by Deja Moore. Moore picking up the foul. That is her second. Another substitution here for North Central. They'll bring five fresh players in. Carthage will inbound left of the basket. Kuzmanic to trigger. Gets it in up top to Quinn. Quinn back on the right wing to Kuzmanic. Double team to Quinn. Whips it around left side all the way around to Wenzel. Left block. Now back up to the middle to Quinn. Goes hard to the basket. Lays it up and in with the left hand. Aaron Quinn with her first points tonight. 65-35 advantage Lady Reds. Svensson for the three. That one's too strong. Rebound loose inside. Taken back by the Cardinals. Step back outside the arc by Cooling. Then dumps it down low. Right block to Shoemaker who lays it up and in. Shoemaker with the bucket. She's averaging 15 a game. Able to knock that one down. 65-37, Carthage. Stursik with a little floater in the paint. One of the rare times you're going to see Haley Stursik inside the arc to take a shot. Able to knock that one down. And the ball loose on the floor. Picked up by Cladis. Marissa Cladis. 
Works it back up to Svensson, and we got a whistle and a foul, and it's going to go on Carthage underneath. I think Wenzel got tangled up that time with Shoemaker, and Wenzel called for the hold. That's two on Wenzel. Alexis Hahn will check in for Christy Schmidt, and five fresh bodies out there now for the Cardinals. Thirty-point advantage for the Lady Reds here as the Cardinals inbound. They get it up top. Hernandez with it. Looks to the corner. Now they roll it inside. Get it to Uzuri Williams, who goes up right side, lays it in. Williams with the bucket. She has three. 67-39. And Carthage again, easy break on the press. Wenzel brings it back out to Stursik. Now the Lady Reds can run a little clock here. As they dump it down low to Alexis Hahn, she'll lay it up and in right side. I'd look for the Lady Reds maybe to take a little bit more time on their possessions here as we get deeper into this second half if they can maintain this advantage. Three ball the other way goes down for Marion Beck. Beck now with eight, the senior from Milwaukee Lutheran. 69-42 Carthage, four minutes into our second half. Stursik, nice bounce feed to Wenzel left side, lays it up and in. Wenzel with 22, that ties a collegiate best for Wenzel. 71-42 on the drive, Williams missing, Wenzel with the rebound. Clears it out to Kuzmanic, dumps it back to Stursik. Stursik across to Quinn. Quinn waits for the defense to come to her, underneath the Wenzel, low right, laid it short. Would have been a great move by Wenzel that time, just short-armed it, just a hair, and it came up short, and back come the Cardinals the other way. On the trail, it's Williams from Deja Moore, lays it up and in, another substitution timeout taken here by the Cardinals. Kleiner will check in, and Taylor Boardman also in for the Lady Reds, and fresh five in now for North Central. We've played four and a half minutes here of our second half, 71-44 Lady Reds. Again, the Redmen will play game two of our doubleheader, approximate tip seven o'clock, so if you're out and about, come on into the Tarbell Arena tonight. We got a foul up top as Quinn tried to get rid of that pass. Christoffi with the foul, two on her. Second on the Cardinals. Carthage will inbound. Free throw line extended in front of the student section. Quinn looking for Sturzik. Inside the arc, back out to Quinn. Was nearly thrown away. I think she was looking for Kleiner on that last pass. So she'll give it back to Sturzik for three. That one is short. Quinn with another rebound. Lady Reds will reload. Quinn with it now high on the right wing. Right of the free throw line, jumper good for Aaron Quinn. That a boy. Hey, Quinn, Quinn going here, one of the best defenders in the CCIW, starting to get some points here. She's got four here in the second half. Jump shot from inside the arc, goes out of bounds off the rebound, taken by Sterling. Planks off the rim and out of bounds to the Lady Reds. Gabby Chapa will come in for Aaron Quinn. Good to see Quinn get some points here. Again, a 1-2-2 press here. Lady Reds will try and break it. They've had great success here doing so. Chapa back to Han, and Han was hammered as she got that return pass by Cooling. That's first on Cooling, third team foul on North Central. Carthage again will go the full length here with a fresh 30. Han to Kleiner, Kleiner advancing it forward on the dribble. Gets it to midcourt, loops it back to Chapa on the wing. Chapa now. Waits for the double team to come to her. Nearly threw it away. She got it back to Kleiner. Kleiner on the drive will pull up. 16-footer crawls over the rim and down. Casey Kleiner inside the arc on the right baseline. Able to get that one to crawl through, and she's got eight. Deep three on the way. Good again. Zagoda just to the right, the top of the circle. Able to knock that one down from triple distance. 75-47. Kleiner two on one. Threw it up. Oh, they're going to call the offensive foul on Kleiner. Dipped the shoulder into the defender that time as she went up for the layup. Kleiner's second and the second on the team here in this second half. 75-47, Carthage in front. Played nearly six minutes here of our second half. Another deep NBA three. That one's off the heel, no good. Rebound, Stursik had it, lost it. Rebound or kick back out now to North Central. And then they try and force it inside, broken up by Boardman. 
Back in the hands of Zagoda, going hard to the basket, laid it short, Boardman getting the rebound, and she was bumped off that time by Shoemaker. First on Shoemaker, fourth on the Cardinals. Another five-person substitution here for North Central. Stursik will exit for the Lady Reds, replaced by Kuzmanic. This is what happens when the system doesn't work. When you shoot 26%, less than 26%, it's ugly basketball. Kuzmanic gives it to Chapa, back to Kuzmanic here on the right wing. Drives the basket, now dumps it down low to Boardman, lays it up and in. Taylor Boardman with six on the easy layup underneath. And that's what this defense will give you on the double team. If you're just patient enough and don't turn it over, you'll get those layups more times than not. Svensson for the three. That one's off the side of the backboard. Tapped right in the hands of Alexis Hahn. They'll break it out. Kleiner. Kleiner across midcourt to Kuzmanic. Kuzmanic now. Feeds Hahn low right. Made the catch and laid it all up and in one motion. Alexis Hahn with the layup. She's got 10. 79-47. They work it in. Williams try to get into Svensson and it's knocked away. Went off her forehead actually, deflected off of Hahn, off of Svensson out of bounds. Christy Schmidt will check back in for Hahn for the Lady Reds. Schmidt now middle of the floor, gives it up to Kuzmanic. 12.45 to play, 79-47 Lady Reds. Looking for Chapa, able to flag it down in the right corner, is in some trouble, now gets it back to Schmidt. Schmidt driving hard to the basket, counted and one. Christy Schmidt that time, driving hard to the basket, able to draw the foul and get to the line. 16 on the night for Schmidt, with one more coming from the stripe. Christy Schmidt today. Four for nine from the floor, six of six from the free throw line, make it seven for seven from the stripe. And she now has 17 points here in this ball game. 82-47. Largest lead now at 35, and another steal inside by Kleiner. Kleiner able to take that one away on the errant pass by Cladis, and now we got to travel on Kuzmanic. Kuzmanic with six points, nine assists so far today. As North Central will bring it in from midcourt, Cladis with it in the left wing, takes the dribble back up top, gives it off on the three-point attempt, and able to knock it down. And Grisafi, that time, 4-3. She has six. 82-50, it's Chapa driving in right side, going hard off the glass, wipe it off, offensive foul. I'm not sure about that one, but the official trailing the play called it. You had an official standing underneath right there, didn't blow the whistle, so you be the judge there as that foul went on Chapa. That is her first. 32-point advantage here for the Lady Reds. Boardman able to break up the pass intended for Shoemaker inside and knocking it out of bounds. Aaron Quinn will come in, replacing Gabby Chapa. As the Cardinals will get it set offensively. A whistle and a foul inside on the Lady Reds. Boardman picking up the foul. That is her third personal. Fourth team foul. Shoemaker at the line for two. Knocks down the first. First trip to the line. Make it the second trip to the line for Shoemaker. Second one on the way. Good. Two for two is Shoemaker. 82-52, Carthage in front, 11 and a half minutes to play. 
Again, Redmond basketball to follow at 7 o'clock tonight. Kuzmanic to Boardman. Nice feed underneath to Schmidt. Lays it up and in. Boardman with the assist. As Schmidt able to finish. She's got 19. 84-52. Bobby John circles it around. Nearly broken up by Quinn. Right back in the hands of Hernandez. Gets it down low to Shoemaker. Left side. And they're going to... Shoemaker. What are we going to do here? We're going to call a foul here. Kuzmanic picking up the foul her first. Boy, she just stood there. She really didn't do anything. Again, it's Shoemaker jumped into her. She was flat foot with the hands in the air. Again, it was Dorian Stewart up top that made the call. Well, Ronnie Fox was standing underneath, letting it go. Shoemaker missed the and one. The rebound to Schmidt. Gives it off to Quinn. 84-54 with 10.55 to play. Quinn with it, middle of the floor. Works it off to Stursik. Cross-court feed back to Kuzmanic. Kuzmanic waits for the double team. Try to get it back to Stursik. Was broken up and picked up by Wenzel. 10 on the shot clock here for Carthage. Back out to Kuzmanic. Penetrates. Circles through the paint. Lays it up and in. Kuzmanic with eight. Working on a double-double tonight in terms of points and assists, 86-54, Lady Reds. Wenzel able to break up the pass inside with the steal, hands it off to Kuzmanic, three on one. Kuzmanic going to go hard off the glass and in. Kuzmanic driving the length, backs the Gota down on the right side, goes up over the top, double-double tonight for Kuzmanic. Ten points now with 11 assists. And they get it to Shoemaker. Shoemaker lays it up and in left side. Also over the top pass that time by Bachman into Shoemaker for the layup. Shoemaker in double figures now with 11. 88-56, 9.50 to go. Wenzel now from the left side will lay it up and in. That's a new collegiate high for Michelle Wenzel. 24 points tonight for the senior out of Delavan Darien. She breaks up the pass again inside to Quinn. Quinn will take the steal down the floor. Quinn will go high off the glass, missing short. Schmidt with the rebound. Goes back up with it and count it. Got it down, was knocked to the floor. No call, but Schmidt still able to finish at the rim. 21 points tonight for Schmidt, 92-56. As again, missing, rebound Shoemaker, or I should say Wenzel, and Shoemaker with the foul. Go to that time on the launch and on the miss. Wenzel able to get the rebound, but was pushed from behind by Shoemaker. Picks up her second foul. Hahn and Kleiner in for the Lady Reds, replacing Schmidt and Quinn. 9.16 to go. The Lady Reds knocking on a century here. They lead at 92.56. Kleiner across to Stursik. Gets it to Wenzel. Wenzel with a collegiate best 22 here tonight. Keeps it alive, gets it to Kleiner. Kleiner had it knocked away from her. Svensson comes down the right side. Carry the basketball. Why wasn't that a travel? Cladis able to pick up the miss by Svensson and knock it down, but Svensson put that dribble way up high and took two extra steps, palming the basketball. 92-58, 8.45 to go. Pass broken up, stolen away by the Cardinals. They'll dump it down the floor to Svensson. She'll lay it up and in from the left side. Sophia Svensson with her first two points tonight. 92-60, under eight and a half to play. Kleiner alone for three, rattles off, no good. Rebound pulled in by Marissa Cladis. Gets it down the floor to Johns. Bobby Johns cut off by Kleiner. Takes her away from the baseline, circles back outside the arc, gets it to Cladis. Cladis' pass broken up by Kuzmanic, taken away by Wenzel. Back to Kuzmanic, two on one. Kuzmanic to Wenzel, she'll finish low right, lay it in. Michelle Wenzel able to finish off the Kuzmanic steal. 26 tonight for Wenzel. 94-60. And we got a foul. And it's going to go Kuzmanic on the body that time on Cladis going to the basket. That's two, three, three, I should say, on Kuzmanic. Cardinals substitutions. Chapa and Quinn checking in for 
Chapa and Quinn will check in, replacing Stursik and Kuzmanic. Five new bodies in now for Cardinals, and they turn it over. On the steal that time is Quinn. Aaron Quinn, triple teamed as she gets that pass off to Wenzel, finds Han alone underneath. Oh, she blew the layup. She was that wide open. She rushed the shot that time and missed. Back the other way and taking out of bounds, out of control, Deja Moore. Boardman will replace Wenzel. Wenzel will get a nice hand as she comes out here. 26 tonight for Michelle Wenzel. That's a collegiate best for the senior from Delavan Darien High School. 94-60. Lady Reds, they hit the century mark last year against North Central. Oh, come on. Offensive foul again called here. You got an official standing underneath the basket here. Waiting for the call. Dorian Stewart standing up top. He's made every call here in this second half. That's a bad call. At least ask for some help if you're not sure. The official underneath let that one go again. And we got a travel underneath this time by Williams, Uzuri Williams, before she got that pass off, shuffled the feet. Wheaton and Augustana in a tussle down in Wheaton, 45-42 with... Nine and a half minutes to go in that one. So Augie giving the 12th ranked Thunder a run for their money. Then we got a foul up top. Kelsey Cooling committing the foul. That's her second, seventh team foul. That'll put Aaron Quinn on the free throw line for the first time tonight. And Quinn able to knock down the free throw. Erin Quinn known for her defensive prowess. She did a great job the other night against North Park. And Pittis, holding Pittis to just six points, a 16 point per game score, limited to just two field goals in that contest. Three ball on the way, barely grazed iron and angles out of bounds. It'll be Carthage basketball with under seven minutes to play, leading 95-60. Yeah, Lady Reds won all three matchups last year in Naperville, 85-74. Here at home, 105-80. And in the CCIW tournament, knocked off North Central by 10, 91-81. In that ball game, it was Kaylee Corcoran with 30 points. Much like Wenzel tonight with her 26. Underneath the Boardman, count it, and one. Aaron Quinn with a nice pass. Quinn standing on the left wing, ripped it down the right block. Boardman able to catch and release all in one motion, makes the basket and the foul. Foul will go on Anita Sterling, her second. And Boardman on the line to complete the three-point play. Now we get officials want to talk about something here. The officials come to the scorer's table down below. I think they want to. They changed the foul call. That's what they did. They originally had given it to. Sterling, but they'll change that foul, put it on Zarante. Zarante, her first. Ordman now ready to go to complete the three point play at the line, and she missed. Rebound pulled in by Sterling. 6.40 to play. Lady Reds in control of this one. They're headed for their third conference win of the year. This pass goes off of Shoemaker, out of bounds to Carthage. That's 23 turnovers tonight for North Central. Kleiner trying to catch that inbound pass, had it deflected away by Zorante. Lady Reds at 68% shooting. All of their baskets pretty much layups. Again, they're able to break the double teams and look for the open Lady Red underneath. Quinn penetrates, kicks it back out. Stursick all alone for three. You better believe it. 
Haley Stursik, the nation's leader in three-point field goals at the Division III level, knocks down another one. Then back the other way, Shoemaker missing, Boardman able to get the rebound. Dumps it down to Kleiner, Kleiner across, 100 to 60, Lady Reds hit the century mark. Now Hahn driving hard right side, lays it up and in. Hahn able to get the layup, she's got 12, 102, 60. A route here at the Tarbell Arena. And on the drive to the basket, we got a whistle and a foul. Zarante fouled on her way to the hoop. She'll get to the line to shoot two. Stursik that time, stepping out, commits her third. Haley climbing up the charts. Stursik now. Third all time in collegiate, Carthage collegiate career in three point field goals made. She's currently seventh all time in three point attempts. In the made category, she is coming into the game, had 166 made three pointers. She trails Angela Beyer by 11 coming into the game today. Danny Ripke has the Carthage record for career three pointers with 194. So quite possibly Stursik could pass that mark. Stays healthy, the river doesn't rise, I think she'll be just fine. Stursik now, cross court feed to Quinn, left side, driving in left side to the paint, tried to force it down to Boardman, was broken up as it was uh, Cladis who got a hand on that one to take it away for Carthage, and or for North Central, and back the other way, it's Svensson with the layup. Svensson with four points. 102-64, Kuzmanic. Going hard, dumps it down low to Boardman. Boardman bumped, kicks it back out to Kuzmanic. Immediately double team, flips it back to Quinn, around to Stursik, back underneath the Boardman. She'll lay it up and in, Stursik on the assist. Haley passed up a sure three, got it down low to Boardman who was able to finish. Back the other way, a long three, it's no good. Long rebound pulled in by Stursik. 4.45 to play, Boardman able to lay it up and in, 106-64. A clinic on how to beat the system. That fractured basketball at North Central plays. That's what you do. You just take the layups and get back defensively. Stursik picking up the foul. Here fourth. Ninth team foul. And at the free throw line, Zagoda. Knocks down the front end. Kleiner and Chapa in for Stursik and Quinn. They both get a nice hand as they come out. Again, the Redmen and Cardinals will play at 7 o'clock tonight. The men's nightcap. Bobby Johns will check in now for the Cardinals. Five points on the night for Emily Zagoda. 106-66. Kuzmanic down the floor. Hands it off to Boardman. Boardman back to Kuzmanic. Cross court feed to Chapa. Chapa alone for three. Got it. Add up, baby. Gabby Chapa struggled all year long with that shot. That time squared to the basket. Knocks down the long distance. 109-66. Pass broken up inside. It's loose. Picked up here in the near corner by Sterling. Back to Williams. Now to Sterling. Now lob to Shoemaker. Shoemaker working on the left block with Boardman. Got past Boardman, goes over Boardman. Shot missed, got her own rebound. Goes up, second effort good. Shoemaker with 13. She'll get at her season high, or season average, I should say. 109-68, Lady Reds, 3.45 to play. Behind the back pass by Kuzmanic to the left block to Boardman, who lays it up and in. Lady Reds shooting 70%. And back the other way, the quick triple by Kim Wilson. And North Central will take a timeout here, a substitution timeout. They have one timeout remaining. Carthage, I think, going to start emptying the bench here. See a couple of players getting their sweats off on the bench here. Looks like we're going to... Get Allison Riley in here in company momentarily as Kleiner had it poked out from behind, taken away by Lauren Hernandez. Hernandez back out to Cladis. Cladis now 
Nice feed underneath, and the ball gets stuck between the backboard and the rim. That'll go as a turnover. Carthage will get the ball back. 111-71 with 3.20 to play. Carthage will take a timeout. I think this will be their substitution timeout as the Lady Reds will settle things down here. and We'll keep it right here. It's just kind of perusing the record book here as far as Carthage is concerned. 111 points. They are approaching a team record. They scored 114 points back in February of 1980 in a win over Concordia of Mequon. So they're knocking on that door. Field goal percentages. Michelle Wenzel, 12 of 13 tonight. Ten for ten, Kathy Mucha versus Wisconsin Green Bay back in 1977. Kuzmanic, 17 assists tonight. That sets a new Carthage record. Sandy Burkhart had 13 against St. Norbert. Denise Ducats had 13 against Lakeland and Holly Glass as recently as 2000 against Marion with 13. So a new assist record set tonight by Kuzmanic. And the Lady Reds about to set a point total mark as well as Williams shot was bumped from behind by Boardman. They'll put Williams on the free throw line. So Williams' free throw is up and in. Second one on the way. That curls off no good. Hahn with the rebound. And then it was knocked away from momentarily from Chapa. She tried to flag it down and went off of her out of bounds. Turnover for the Lady Reds. They're 21st. Make it their 22nd of the game. Svensson will inbound. Gets it to Deja Moore. Deja Moore off the left block, banks it in. Deja Moore for two. 111 74. Down the floor is Chapa, left side. Circles back into the corner. Up top it'll go to Allison Riley. Riley, a little run up with the right hand, and it goes down. Allison Riley able to hit. 113 to 74, and Hahn able to knock the pass. Away from Deja Moore, out of bounds. Fresh five coming in for North Central. Also a substitution for the Lady Reds. Ashley Cunningham, the sophomore from Lindenhurst, will enter the game. As again, three on the way, out of the corner. Taken by Grazafi, no good. Cardinals get the rebound, driving in from the right side. That is Zarante. Zarante able to hit. 113-76, 2.22 to go here in the game. Lady Reds will go to 3-0 on the season. Boardman off the miss, stick back, good. There's your record right there. New point total in a game for the Lady Reds, 115-76. to The 115 points, a new Carthage team record. Breaking the old record set against Concordia back in February of 1980. Aaron Gansky in now for the first time tonight. Gansky, the freshman out of New Berlin, Eisenhower. 115-76. The run up off the left side, the left hand, good by Zagoda. Able to knock that one down, 115-78. And a shot on the way, taken by Gansky, no good. But Alexis Hahn able to get the stick back to go down, 117-78. Boardman tried to tip it away from Erica Buck, sophomore from 
Chicago in now. Gansky now with it on the steal. Gets it across to Riley. Riley dumps it down to Boardman. Boardman going hard. Players tumble. And we got an offensive foul on Riley. Coming in for the Lady Reds, Amanda Genge. Genge, the 5'7 junior out of St. Benedict Academy. So Alexis Hahn, one of the players to get regular playing time, still on the floor here for the Lady Reds. The collegiate best 26 for Wenzel tonight. New team record for points in a game. An assist record for Kuzmanic tonight. As the Lady Reds decimate this Grinnell system of basketball that North Central employs. Textbook, put this one on film if you're going to run it. This is how you beat it. You shoot 70% from the floor, you make all your layups. It could have been a lot more. You think about the baskets that they missed underneath tonight. A shot taken on the run that time by Moore. Rebound Williams, shot partially blocked by Hahn. Ball loose, picked up by Gansky. Gives it off to Hahn with under a minute to play. Hahn up the floor. Lob down, trying to find Genge. Genge able to make up, catch up to it. Back to Gansky. Now to Riley. Riley on the drive. Left block going hard off the glass. Too strong. And then trying to get the rebound was Ashley Cunningham. Bumped over the back that time of Anita Sterling. So the... 78 points so far, third fewest scored by North Central this season. As missing the free throw that time was Deja Moore. Four players in for the Cardinals. And Moore will have one more. Free throw on the way, that one's no good. Nice job by Riley to save that one from going out and threw it off of Buck out of bounds. Carthage basketball. Thirty-nine seconds to play. Lady Reds a satisfying win here tonight. Well, they got to forget about how they played it as Gansky gets the loose ball, and goes up for the layup and hits. Aaron Gansky with her point tonight. Now three the other way, that one's no good. Spenson with the rebound, cut off on the left block, kicks it back out to Hernandez. Zagota with it, drives, missing, ball loose inside, taken away by Carthage. Down the floor with it, Allison Riley. Nine seconds to play, gets it to Cunningham, back underneath the Genge, missed the shot, got her own rebound, laid it short. Svensson able to get the rebound and traveled with it. Carthage will get it back with 1.1 second to play. A team record tonight, 119 points for the Lady Reds. As they will just inbound and dribble it away here. We'll get everybody set. They'll throw it in, Genge will catch it. That's your ball game, 119-78. Lady Reds with the win, a new record in point totals for the Lady Reds, 119 points. That breaks the old record of 114, set in a win over Concordia. Michelle Wenzel with a co collegiate best 26 tonight. Stephanie Kuzmanic with a Car Carthage team record for assists in one game with 17. As the Lady Reds cruise here tonight, 119 to 78. We'll pause and take a two minute break. Back with our post game report, including a visit by head coach Tim Bernero. You're listening to Carthage Lady Red Basketball on AM 1050 WLIP. Joined now by head coach Tim Bernero, and uh, we talked about in the pregame, if you can beat the system, you'll get the layups. You got the layups tonight, and and, and you did beat them, and how tonight. Yeah, it, you know, we talked about it. I don't know, I don't know how you play that way. It's just kind of, I mean, even to start the second half, it was 
you always worry about the beginning of the second half to change momentum. We got five layups in the first minute. It all felt like this. Oh, it's just, you know. And I think my my responsibility as much as anything last year was new to me. It was the first time I played against it, so I didn't know if I had a great the greatest handle on trying to explain it to the kids. Saw them a couple times last year, three times, including the conference tournament. And there's certain things, and you, coaches are copycats and cheaters, and they look at other people's stuff and say, okay, how did so-and-so break it? And you try to fit that to your personnel. And we moved our guards around in different spots. They weren't, you know, we had three people available to handle it, but we kind of moved it, you know, that, and, you know, I heard you mention how many assists Steffi had. Sometimes when you put her, the ball back in her hand initially, they trap it, get it out of her hand, and then it's hard to get it back to her. So we, we switched it because Aaron and Casey were doing such a good job that we put them up at the free throw line and Steph at midcourt or even Steph on the backside at the free throw line. And once it got in, we, we hit Steph on the fly at midcourt. I don't know that I'd be, you know, I know I don't, I don't think I've had a, uh, another guard that I'd rather have with the ball in the middle of the floor like that making decisions. Now, I, I've told her before and I've told, you know, the team kind of, the only time she gets in trouble is when she gets bored with it. It's, you know, she's the, you know, Rain Man or whatever with the basketball <laughs> as far as passing it because she's such a good passer, but then she gets kind of bored and says, let me try this. And it, that, some of them blow up in her face and she, you know, the behind the back with, or through four people and a right-handed layup fading away on the left side didn't work out so well in the first half, but, you know, she's she gets, what, 17 assists and four turnovers. So that's really that's really impressive there to, to, to handle the ball as much as she did. And we got, you know, the only kid that, you know, and she's not that kind of kid, the only kid that might might be a little off is that Haley got in foul trouble early. We didn't need her in the first half. She got a couple shots in the second half. She still ends up, was it, two for three, so she didn't have her normal volume of shots, but that's kind of the way they play. You, they reduced us to eight three-point eight three attempts. Haley usually has that many herself, and she did fine in the second half, but I thought Gabby Chapa played a great game. I thought, you know, obviously Kleiner helped us handle the ball and the post players did what they were supposed to do. The, the ones on the back end got the ball in to the guards to start with, handled it when it came back to them, and the ones on the other end finished, the, finished and the, laid the ball in the basket. Yeah, when you look at your post players, you've got uh, Wenzel 12 of 13, Schmidt 7 of 13, Hahn 7 of 10, Boardman was 8 for 8, and uh, well, you look back, and I was I said in the first half, if Christy Schmidt could do it all over again, she easily could be 12 of 13 or 13 of 13. She was 2 for 7 at halftime. You're right, John. She was 2 for 7 at halftime, and we were kind of, you know, I stomped my feet a couple times in the first half because she was overcomplicating it. She was trying to spin and create contact and do all this other stuff. All she had to do was turn and go and lay the ball in the basket, and it would have been easy. She's, you know, she tried to body hunt and do some things and that, that she usually does because her game tends to be more of a, she's a post player that, that likes to have the contact on one side there so she can catch and seal and score. When you're in space like that, you don't have people leaning on you and stuff. It, you're always, sometimes you're looking for it. You're trying to find somebody and go, where, where is she? You know, I think she, so she kind of over overcomplicated it in the beginning and ended up missing a couple of shots that she normally makes. I guess you, what do you, what do you do, burn the tape now and you, you forget about what happened here tonight, scoring 119 points, and now, now back to our regularly scheduled program this coming Wednesday? Yeah, you know, I, I, this is a, a tough job for an SID because he's got to pour through the books and I'm sure you were doing that at some point in the second half trying to look online and see what the school record was for assists or, or points or whatever you know and it, you know all we could do is just keep going and uh, you know it, it, you know we you play throughout the conference and the non-conference too and you see different styles some people zone you some people press you some people play you straight up some people do funny switch and do different stuff and good teams learn how to handle those. You know, and I know if I'm a guard I'm, and I see the, this game on the schedule, I'm like, oh, gosh, here we go. I'm going to be people slapping me and chasing me all over the place. And, you you know, you have to kind of settle in and handle what, what's, what's given to you. And that's their style of play that they choose. All we had to do was do what we did and, and to have 23 turnovers. You know, they turned it over more than we did, and we never pressed them a second. We were sitting back trying to get back inside the three-point line and, and, and make it hard for them to score. And, again, we played them now four times. I think their high water mark was 81 or 80 something. I think it was 80 or 81 in the, the games last year. You know, for a team that usually gives up mid 50s, you know, if you, you know, prorate it for inflation or whatever you want to call it, you know, that 78 probably is pretty good. They, you know, and you know, they've been kind of held back at that point. And it's, even though they got that far, they still they made 11 threes. They're going to make some threes. I mean, you can't you can't 
you know, keep them shut out there. So they 11 for 41, still 25 percent or 26 percent. Now you can live with that, and then keeping them to 22 free throws is fine. We didn't shoot any free throws, but they, you know, we kept making layups. I guess so. You know, and I, we've had that discussion before. Is that when you, with us, if you don't, we shoot such a high percentage. At some point, you might just hit us and make us see if we can make a free throw once in a while. <laughs> Well, it sets up, and to your credit, you kept focus on this game, your one-game season tonight. You have a very big one-game season on Wednesday, a comp early conference showdown, two undefeateds going at it in Wheaton on Wednesday night. Yeah, this is the first crossover of the three teams that are 3-0 and after today, is from, from what I saw on the scores. And so here's the first one, and I think Wheaton's got the big week because I think they might be playing Wesleyan on Saturday. We've got two road games this week. We're going to Wheaton. You know, if you're a historian, the last time we were there, we were they handed us a trophy, and it was a pretty good feeling. But if you, if you also remember the facts of the matter, it wasn't 119 to 78; it was 47 to 44. <laughs> so we're more likely to be close. I don't know; it'll be 47 44, but it's two like-minded teams that are very good defensively, that have very good players that can score inside and and out and. It's, you know, who plays better that night, and we, you know, it's a funny thing. Two years ago, they beat us three times. Last year, we beat them three times, you know, so I don't know if that means that's the, the pattern. So if, we, if it is, we better win Wednesday night so we get the, you know, the, the series this year. But they're a good basketball team. They're playing great. They've got some young kids playing in the guard spots where people thought they might be lacking a little bit after graduating their, their guards, but they haven't missed a beat, and they're, they're well coached, and they play good basketball. So it'll be a fun night Wednesday, and I'm looking forward to that game. It's just how the schedule falls. You go from one extreme to the next. I, just, I find that ironic here in the way the schedule developed here. And you look at the schedule with, you know, you know you all, when North Central came in starting playing the system, you always tried to think, you know, coaches try to outthink themselves too sometimes. They go, is it better to play somebody right after they play them or right before it? You know, are they out of sorts? Well, we've got two days to get our offensive rhythm back, and that, you know, that will be fine because that's we're pretty good at that. We, we did it on short notice when we went to Vegas. We had a day, the day after Christmas we practiced and got one, you know, hour practice in, in Vegas, and we played just fine against Carroll and against Whitewater. So we're, we're in good shape. Obviously, our conditioning's good. It's nice to have tomorrow off. The kids can rest a little bit and we'll, we'll get them ready for Wednesday at Wheaton and it should be fun. Coach, congratulations on the win here tonight and uh, enjoy it. Thanks, John. Head basketball coach Tim Bernero joining us on our post game as Carthage picks up the win here at home, setting a team record for points, 119-78 over North Central tonight. Lady Reds now at 3-0 uh, on the season in the CCIW, 12-2 overall. North Central falls to 1-2 eight and six overall. Michelle Wenzel leading five players in double figures. Wenzel a collegiate best, 26 points tonight for the Lady Reds. Stephanie Kuzmanic, a new Carthage team a game record for assists in one game with 17. Carthage 35 assists as a team on 52 made baskets here tonight. So Lady Reds roll 119-78 over North Central. That'll wrap up our women's broadcast here tonight. We'll take about a five-minute break here, and then we'll get you back here to the Tarbell Arena. Uh, we'll tip off the men's game at about 7-10 tonight. So still got plenty of time to get down to the Tarbell Arena for the men's game tonight against North Central. We'll pause, take a little bit of a break here. Let uh, the announcer catch his breath here a little bit, and then we'll have Redmond basketball for you in just a moment. Thanks to Jimmy uh, uh, Selovich engineering our broadcast tonight. And we'll be right back here after a five minute break. Your final tonight, 119 to 78. Lady Reds, a victory here this evening. We'll be back to the Tarbell Arena in about five minutes here on 1050 WLIP.